Yeah, the the Iona UCD you know Challenge Cup uh, started back in the early 2000s. You know, a, a great experience, great tournament and competition for us. Uh, got started through uh, you know alumni of ours and alumni of uh, University College of Dublin. Kind of got started. No one really knew how how it would take, but. Here we are many years later and you know it's going strong and you know it's a highlight of, of our season and it's a highlight of their season and you know uh, our guys, our alumni um, and obviously the other side really look forward to this event. And okay yeah you know the Iona UCD challenge is probably one of the most unique tournaments we play. Um, to be able to go to Ireland twice in my four years is definitely a great experience. Um, it's also unique in the sense that it's match play and we don't play many match play tournaments over here and then getting to play with those guys over there. You know, they're great people and we're great friends with them. So looking forward to it. It's been a great experience my past three years and looking to get another win this year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to meet people. It's a great opportunity to, to build a relationship, uh, especially for our guys, uh, twofold meeting and, and getting uh, friends from Ireland you know, th through the students, as well as making connections with our alumni. And guys have gotten internships, gotten jobs through those connections. And it obviously creates a bond between the alumni of Iona and our golf program and our golf guys. And, and they kind of you know, see the value of the education you know, on our side and also the, you know, the, the, the efforts and hard work you know, can lead to great things. And that's the example that many of our alumni have set. And it's kind of the, the lesson that we're hoping that these boys get uh, out of this. And obviously for myself, you know, getting to, to meet some great people, you know, uh, meeting Brian Mullins, who's the athletic director at UCD, is one of the world famous Irish footballers. And that's, you know, a name that, you know, most people don't know. And yet he's, you know, such a, a world, you know, national star over there that it's a, a privilege of mine uh, to be able to, to meet him. And obviously all the other guys, uh, Bill Jolly and Mike Reedy and, and all them. Uh, it's fun. Um, it's usually good fun. You know, there's a little bit of... Kind of, we go at each other, but it's it's all fun and games, really. You know, they'll stand up on the first tee and just talk about how they're going to beat us, and then we'll talk back to them about how we're going to beat them. But once it gets down to the nitty gritty, the last few holes, we're usually pretty quiet and just do our own thing. I prefer match play, just because it's more personal. You know, if you get someone you don't really like, you just really want to go out and beat them. Um, and also, you can have a bad hole, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so we start on uh, on Tuesday at Port Marnock, which is uh, one of the most famous Irish courses. They just hosted the British Am uh, this past year. Uh, a number of times hosted the the Irish Open, and you know just a, a awesome golf course. Uh, the next day is at Bowtre, uh, very tough, challenging course. Our two times out there have been you know, very challenging, especially for myself. Uh, John John uh, had an experience there. <laughs> Uh, and then the final day at Royal Dublin is uh, it's a unique, uh, awesome, it's the home of Christy O'Connor, who is the Jack Nicholas of Irish golf. Uh, so four years ago, we were fortunate enough to meet him before his passing and, and speak to him and, and kind of get a history lesson, as well as then obviously playing the course. And the course is a, a unique link style, you know, nine holes out, nine holes back in, and you're kind of facing, you know, differing conditions, but uh, a really cool uh, experience and, and awesome all three venues are, are top notch and, and will provide a test and you know fair competition and you know we look forward to, to battling it out on all three of them. Yeah, for sure. You know the the UCD guys are all very good golfers. So if we go out and we beat them, you know it gives us the confidence that we can go out and compete with very good teams. So you know two years ago we won it, went on to win a MAC championship. This year looking for, looking forward to going over and hopefully winning. And um, all of them are pretty good. You know they're all top courses, but. Personally, Port Marnock's one of my favorite. You know, it's it hosted the British Amateur Open this year. Uh, it's tipped to host the British Open in the next few years. So, looking forward to getting out of that again. Yeah, that's that's a kind of a special capstone to the event. Um, you know, we, everybody looks forward to that. You know, good good food, good camaraderie, uh, good stories. You know, it's it's always fun to hear Mr. Hines and and Bill Jolly and uh, you know a few of our guys and their guys get up and kind of talk about you know this event in the previous iterations. Uh, it's, it's great to hear, you know, they have our, our student captain and their student captain get up and, and give a speech. And, and that's where, where you see kind of the value of it, you know, when they talk from the heart of, you know, what it means to them to participate in this, you know, the camaraderie, the sportsmanship of it, because this is a different event than really any other that 
any of these guys have ever played and, and will ever play in that, you know, we're building friendships, we're building camaraderie, uh, and, and we're doing it the right way. Um, and, you know, we're having, having fun out there uh, while we're obviously competing hard to, to get the win. Yeah, that dinner, you know, the, the matches are played in, you know, really good faith, really good spirit. And then that dinner is just kind of, we all come together, we all mix, mingle with each other, and it's just good fun. We get to talk with the alumni who, you know, are great connects to have and then we get to mingle with the UCD boys even more. Clearly just that dinner you were talking about, just sitting there and having good fun with the guys is, is definitely my favorite memory.